So next example uh, we're going to look into is f squared of x. Please remember f squared of x is written as f of x times f of x. So therefore, now we know that we need to use the product rule again. So if I have dy of dx of this expression, that's going to be f prime of x times f of x plus f prime of x times f of x, where we can combine these two to give us two f prime of x times f of x. Now they're saying uh, this is at x equals zero. Yep. So now we need to evaluate at x equals zero. So I can write dy over dx such that x is equal to zero. So it's two times f prime of zero times f of zero. So now again, we just go back and look at our values. So f prime as um, the function f prime at zero is going to be a negative two. f prime of x is going to be at nine. So let's just write that two times negative two times nine, which equals a negative 36. Questions, good, make sense, kind of, not. 